banded together from remote galaxies, are 13 of the most sinister villains of all time, the Legion of Doom. Dedicated to a single objective, the conquest of the universe. Only one group dares to challenge this intergalactic threat. Get this big walking carpet out of my way. What is up, everybody? Welcome to Three Men in a Basement. I'm your host, Otto, coming to you live and direct from the grotto. We have a special CGC unboxing. Um, if I'm your host, Otto, I have Short Box Birdie in the house tonight. What's up, gentlemen? Yes, Short Box Birdie. Ladies. Bur yes, ladies and gentlemen, everybody that's watching. Short Box Birdie has been on a little bit of a hiatus. He's been doing some other things. He's been doing big things. But he went and submitted a ton of books to CGC. Oh, not a ton. Not a ton. I How started about? with a ton. You started with a ton, right. <laughs> I had like 22 on a thing I was going to... And they were all fast-tracked. And then I'm like, I'm not paying $10 extra. Because right. you know, I am pretty frugal. You are pretty frugal. Penny wise. Penny wise. So I took off 12 books. I had the invoice. I'm like, man, that's like... So I ended up with 10. Okay, 10 I books. stop with the hands. Right. So we're gonna, <laughs> we got 10 books that we're going to show you. I'm going to show you some recent pickups. So thank you very much for joining. A little different because we're not live. This is obviously pre-recorded, but we hope you enjoy it just the same. So I got a little bit of a mail call today. I was on Instagram the other day, uh, probably about two and a half weeks ago, and somebody had hit something up with slab stands on Instagram, and I went and looked at them, and I'm like, man, these are I really these, these are really cool. So I immediately jumped on them, and slab stands is on Facebook. Um, Nate Oswell, uh, slab stands at yahoo.com. He's also on Facebook, too. You can get him on Facebook, the guy. Yeah, the guy who did it. Okay, so slab stands right there. And this came in the mail today, pretty poetic. So I got this really cool stand for my Hulk 181. Made a very nice wood with my logo. So I broke the old Hulk 181 out, popped the stand right in it. Oh, 9.2. Yeah, 9.2. It's Hulk not 181. Show off Sunday. It's not show off Sunday. But Wait, you know are you going to premiere this on Sunday? No, I don't know when we're going to premiere, well, you know, but we'll see. We'll see. It could see. be. It could be. It could be. And I also picked up this one to go with the 180. Uh, here come, And now the Wolverine. So I thought that was pretty cool. So thank you very much, Slap Stands, for so sending again, those. Dude, I've um, seen these, and I, I was... Oh, jeez. It's what it won't break. <laughs> uh, I've seen these, and I've been itching to get them for some of mine. And uh, they're really good. Elite Comics 11 had them also. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he worked with them. So. Right. I think they're really cool for display, yeah, and so I'm definitely going to... You know, just they're relatively inexpensive. Yeah, relatively inexpensive. Shipping was quick. Looks good. Made solid. So I'm pretty happy yeah, to have that. Looks so very good. Check out Slab Stands if you're, if you're interested in displaying some of your stuff. So I also went on a Father's Day trip yesterday. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to all Same the IG people out there. Same and um, big weekend with the family, stuff like that. But I went to... I live in Connecticut. I went to the Rainham Flea Market. And that's in Massachusetts. That's in Massachusetts, yep. It's about a two-hour drive, and it's this huge indoor flea market. And what these guys do is they set up their, like, stores. So they rent out these big spaces, yep. and that's their stores that they open up once a week. So my boy Joe on Instagram, on Facebook, I did a video with him. Look for that. I'm always looking for some books, and not really looking to break the bank or anything, but I picked up some books that I thought were pretty cool um, for relatively inexpensive. First book I picked up was just because it was a George Perez book, was Logan's Run Number 1. Remember Logan's run as a kid? Uh, George Perez did it. That's right? the first movies I saw. Yeah, we'd be dead, right? <laughs> no, but remember Logan's run had... Oh, yes, she yes, can, absolutely. Yeah. She covered a full I think that was the first movie Times, I've seen in really, a movie. Really, that's it. Yes. But I think, yeah. what was it? You all die at a certain age, right? Like, you've got to go all into right. a thing. Like I think we'd be I, dead. I was right just now. mesmerized by the movies. Right. I, don't <laughs> yeah, I don't remember too much about it. So I picked that up. And now, if you've been watching Lords of the Long Box or following any but of that's us... Not, uh, but that's not the apocalypse... No, is there an apocalypse no. appear in that? No, 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 no. This is a separate one. Apocalypse is like four or something like that. He does no, no. Um, Thanos does a backstory. No, I think Apocalypse is like a first cameo and like number five or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd have to but look that. How does he get it's into a, Logan's? Run? He doesn't. It's a it's a separate story. Oh, it's a it's a separate well, story. It's one of those things. Yeah, it's I don't a separate like story. Yeah. Like oh, well. You know, if you've been watching uh, Lords of the Log Box and following TiVo, Nemesis Prime, Dark Side Jedi, we've been specking on all these crazy books. So, I mean, we're just going nuts specking on these books. But just so you know, if we spec the game, we're going to walk the game and talk the game. So, I picked up a number one, First Devil Dinosaur. Very happy to have this. And he's going to come either to TV, Hulu, or maybe the big screen. We'll see. 
but just a Jack Kirby greatness. We talked about this and picked it up for a good price. Don't know what it'll come back at. A good press for the uh, set it up a little bit better. But yeah, just Devil Dinosaur number one. Written, drawn, illustrated, all by Kirby. Um, really cool book. Happy to have it. The next book I picked up is one of the hottest books out there. And I think, I think, you, I think yeah, I think you're going to have one of these graded. So we'll hear what comes up. Because I definitely missed out. I do on have one of these. Avengers number 684. The first full appearance. First full appearance of Immortal Hulk. Immortal Hulk, okay. Or, as they say, the Hulk gains new powers. Okay. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. We'll see what the CGC label Yes, absolutely. So, first Immortal Hulk, very hot book. Definitely going to send this off. Um, I have Immortal Hulk 1. I have two of the Dr. Fry's that I'm going to be looking to auction off. They're not 9 8s. They do have a little bit of color break in it. But, again, a book that I missed out on, but saw it for a good price. Guy made a deal. So I think I paid, you know, market value for a raw copy. So that's good. And then the last one is I scoop these up as many times as I can. Uh, <laughs> X-Men 164. First binary. Love it. Dave Cockrum. Pretty cool book. Um, might have this one pressed. There's some issues with it. But I don't own this book. Uh, slabbed. And uh, I found one on Facebook actually for an eight and a half. I don't know what it's going for at eight and a half. I might make a guy a deal. So it can't be too expensive, you know. So well, I have to say seventy five. Seventy five. Yeah, that's what I would figure. Okay, so I did pick those I mean, up. I'm guessing. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, that's what I think. And I paid minimal for that. So just some raw books that I've gotten. So now we have a <laughs> box full of CGC stuff that short box Bernie has been going Submitted. nuts waiting for. Yes, right? I work for the post office. Right. I got the notice Wednesday that the books were coming. Yep. Priority mail. Yep, priority. So I figured they'll be here Friday. And what happens? Well, Friday Friday comes and goes. Yep. And then Friday night I get the notice. It's in Jamaica, New York. Okay, close to us. So I'm like, okay, Saturday. Yeah. Not a, Nothing, right? <laughs> I could have drove down there and picked them up yes. and came back. Now, I want to preface this. We are here on 3 Better the Basement. When you follow us, we know that we like to do the unboxings here live with you guys. Um, but this has been a, uh, this is a huge haul for Bernie. So we're just yes. kind of like hold off. So I've been, he's been chopping at the bit to get this and every day, what's the status? What's the what's status? The status? What? Yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm like, Here's and I'm tracking and I'm tracking and I, and I work for the post office and I know who I work with and you know, so yeah. I'm waiting, you know, and nothing, God, nothing, nothing, so, nothing, nothing. So last night, Sunday night, I get the notification. It's in Hartford, which yeah. is basically one town north of us. Okay. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's the capital. It's one town north. Right. And so, what's the status? All day today at work, nothing. I'm leaving work at twelve thirty. I have my supervisor check the status. Yep. Yeah. Still in Hartford at eleven o'clock last and night. I, so twelve o'clock. Then I, I talked to my mailman. Yep. Yeah. What's he say? Oh, I don't have it, but it was under my uh, girlfriend's. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, then he came back around and knocked on my door. And, yeah, and then, yeah, right? Yeah. But at twelve, as of 12.30 today, we didn't have any books. Yeah, as of 2 o'clock. Right. And what, what was the status on the post office? It still said in, in New York. In New York. Yeah, and then it updated now to delivered. Oh, gotcha. Okay. But it never got, usually you get, Another if you step. followed on eBay, you know, you know, it goes to the post office right. out for delivery. Yep. It never went. It re arrived in Hartford and... uh Deliver. And I just said, boom, <laughs> deliver, yeah. right? So immediately so, we found out about this. We're like, all right, let's do it. Let's get it going. Yes. So some of the so, books we have in here. Um, it's very Immortal Hulk heavy. I yeah. submitted 10 books. All my like I said, I had 22. I cut it back down to 10 because I didn't feel like paying an extra $10 for Fast Track. Right. Um, so total time since you sent it to we got it today. I mailed it on May 22nd. Okay. Today is June 17th. 17th. Okay. So a month. A month, all right. It took... They received it on the 24th at their post office box, yep. at their P.O. box. Yep. And it took them a week till May 31st to put update the status that they had received it. Yep. So I knew that they had gotten it, but until they got it into their system, it was a week for that. Yep. So then, so May 31st, I think it was like June 12th that they had it finalized and graded. Yep. And that's a... It's a family show, so I won't say I won't say the B word. It's really tough not clicking on it, right? So especially because I want to sell like at least yes, half of these, right? So this is collecting. This is for your personal collection and investment purposes, right? It's seven out of ten. We're probably going to sell. Okay, but if it was for my personal collection, I would 
have no problem right, voting. Right, right. But this is investment purposes. Whatever. It, was, it would be in my box anyways. Yeah. Just sitting there, you know. Right, right. So, but wanting to know the grades yep. is, you know, it was kind of hard. Okay, all right. So, so without maybe, further ado, we believe yeah. the first book that we're going to yeah, pull out. Yeah, I have the invoice here because I right. picked it out the second invoice. So we're going to pull out. We're going to pull out the Hopefully first it's in book. order. We think so. And I'll tell okay. you the story behind every book. All right, because every book has a story, which we always say. All right, so I have a T Titans 12. Right exactly. Here. All right. So, Les, if you remember our big when we sent in 25 between all of us. Yes. I got three out of four of these. Yeah. 9.8s. Uh, Comic Dave on Instagram. I think it's Comic Dave. He's also from New Jersey, but he's not our boy, Dave Dole. Yeah. He put it up, you know, I'm selling these on eBay. Right. I went and I looked, and it looked pristine. Yeah, so you jumped on it. I got into a bidding war. Oh, Jesus. So I overpaid on this raw. Okay, overpaid uh, raw. I overpaid raw, but I'm confident it's a 9.8. Okay. What is a what 9.8? I'm nine, very confident it's a 9.8. Okay. I need a 9.6 to break even. 9.6 <laughs> to break even. Price difference, you know, between a 9.8 and a 9.6 on this. Do you know? Uh, The last sale... 90 day GPA on a 98 is 425. Yep. On a 96 is 169. Ooh, so significant. Yeah. So but this, and then when I got it, when I received it in the mail, it does look just as good as every other copy I right. submitted. But I also did get one copy that I submitted that I thought that came back a 94. Right. So you right. never know. Heartbreaker, heartbreaker. Yeah. But right. so I'm So this is your Teen Titans 12, the first book, and you, my friend, are getting a 9.8. Nice. There you go. Nice. You called that nice. one. Nice. You called I, I, that one. I had a feeling this was going to come back at 9.8. You called that one all day. All right. Yeah, so 9.8. Oh, well, let's let them let's look at take it. a look at it right there. Teen Titan 12, one of the hottest characters. Yeah. Absolutely. So I knew, you know, I mean, it looked just as good as all the other ones. Yeah. Now this selling? Yeah, because yes. I have another copy. You have so. another copy. Okay, there you go. So. so. All right, your this first 9-8 like, of the yes. show. Boom, nice. there we go. All right, there we go. I feel like Dave Dole. <laughs> yeah, I did. Mr. 9-8, right? <laughs> yeah, Mr. 9-8. Right. So now we have A-Force. A-Force. Right. Oh, well, so oh the, the story of this one oh, is funny. Oh, my God. Uh, this, this was a free comic book day pickup. Uh, free comic book day was the first Saturday in May. Yep. I went to that uh, Boom 2 Comics in Southington because yep. I saw the, their Instagram post and I, that's where I picked up the Kang, the first Kang. Yep, nice book. So then I come back home. Uh, GF gets home from work. Yep. We're like, you know, do you want to do something? So we went down to New Haven to uh, Pepe's. We we're going to go to Pepe's or Sally's or, you know, one of the famous yeah, pizza, pizza, the pizza first places. Pizza here. Places. Yeah. here in uh, uh, Connecticut. So we go to Pepe's, and then I'm like, well, let's, you know, walk over to Alternate Universe. Yeah. yeah. We thought it was close. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it was like a 30-block walk. Oh, my like, God. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been to Alternate Universe. Yes. Like, yeah. yeah. It's not the best. No. Thing. No. But they have that fish tank yep. aquarium thing in the front with yeah. the things. So I'm looking through there, and I see this book. And this was right after, Free Comic Book Day was a week after, uh, Avengers, Avengers right? A Force, yep. So A Force One is hot. I found this book. I paid a lot for it raw. Ooh. Not a lot. I mean, it's I paid variant, ratio. Right? It's a one in fifty variant. One in fifty. So I paid ratio for it raw. All right. So I need a nine six or a nine eight out of this. All too. right. Difference? I think all these books are nine sixes or right. nine eights. By the way, anything is this, lower. Is this selling or keeping? Or is this holding? This one's on the fence. This one's on the fence. I do collect you, so yeah. you know. Oh, we'll have to see. Uh, so, my friend, you are looking at... What well, is a nice looking book. Yes. A 980 nice, game! Nice. Dude, two 98s! Nice! Woo! High five for that! Yeah, That's yeah, another yeah, corona yeah, 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 We're going to keep right. going. We're going to keep going. Nice, All right. Nice, nice, nice. That's nice. a nice looking book. I've never seen that book. Yes. I've never seen that book. Yeah, I, I, you know, it did look good. I, and I really studied all these books that I submitted because after the last time, I was very upset. And you did your notes and mm -hmm. everything like that? Yes. That is nice. Congrats. So that one, I don't know. And I've got two offers already on a raw post that I had on Instagram. Really? You selling, you selling, you know. I don't know. All right. All right. So what's next? Next should be Immortal Hulk number one. Yep. This is the one in 50 variant uh, by Dale Keon. Who okay. Did, he, he used to do all the covers back in the, like he's the one that did that famous cover, 377, mm -hmm. you know. 
Yeah, so he's a cool. famous Hulk artist. Yeah. And it's a 1 in 50 variant. Uh, Any stats on it? Last sale for the 9.8 was 180. Yeah. For the 9.6, 61. Oh my so, God, it's almost three times. But there's 24 9.8s yeah. and only two 9.6s. Two 9.6s. Okay, so, okay, there I you mean, go. Some people are taking their shots. That's good. Yeah, That's good. So. Short box morning. Definitely good with the stats. That's how you like to have your own numbers. You're a numbers, numbers, guy. numbers guy. You're a number crunch. Okay. So I've never seen this book too. This is another book. Oh no, I've never no, seen. yeah, you probably haven't seen it. I've never seen this book, and I'm. Yeah, I'm out of the you laid off variants, like you're laid off variants. Pairs. This is a really dope cover. This is. And my friends, you are looking at another oh, ninety. Oh shit! Another ninety. <laughs> three for three. That is a good cover. Ooh, let's show that to the good people watching. There we go. That is a great cover. That is a great, great cover. Oh my god! Yeah. Phenomenal. So, more to Hulk one. Oh, did these? I, mean, I didn't. Oh, this is the first appearance of Singularity. Jesus, does this have anything? Fire. No, just Incredible Hulk. What the hell? Why does this say Incredible Hulk number 718 there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Just show the people this. Yeah. <laughs> that makes no sense. Incredible Hulk 718. Yeah, I have no idea. You have a CGC misprint. So, right here. <laughs> I know you guys can't see, but the lettering. Where it usually says, like, if it's the first appearance. Yeah. It says Incredible Hulk <laughs> number 718. Yeah. Don't know anything about that. There you go. All right. Oh, error. That's, That's error. error. It's that, a 101. That, that, yeah. It's a 101. That brings up the value. All right. Yes. All right. And we're just cooking along right here. This yes. Is, uh, yes. This is great, that, great, great. This is awesome. Three for three. So All far. right. A lot better than last time. <laughs> uh, what's next? <laughs> oh, this, oh is this is the big one. This is the big one. This is the big one. This is the big boy. This one is the one I've been waiting for. Okay. Uh, well, besides the Teen Titans 12. Right. Too, but this one I'm a lot lower invested in. <laughs> right, a lot less, right. Okay. But uh, so you this one, if it comes back lower than a 9.8, I'm cracking it and really? pressing it. Okay. All, all these books were not pressed. No, really. That's big stones. You got big stones. Yeah. All right. But so, I, my buy-in on this, I could crack it. Okay. Now, you bought this new stand, right? Off the stand? Yes, okay. yes, yes. All right. And this is... This is Immortal Hulk number two. Yep. First appearance of Dr. Fry. Yep. The one in twenty-five uh, Gerardo Zafino variant. Okay, now there was no other one in fifty for this. This is the only. I think the one in twenty. I think this is the only. This is the only one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I've never seen this book again until you showed it to me the other day, and this is a dope, dope cover. Again, another book that I've never seen. I'm not <laughs> in a variant game. Purple label variant cover. Purple label. Well, it's got like well, uh, oh. purple right there. No, <laughs> purple label. <not. laughs> and my oh, right, oh, you oh, got oh, a. Oh, <laughs> 9.8! Nice! Woo! Karate chop! There you we go. From go. purple label to 9.8. No, no, look at that. Unbelievable. The 9.8. Nice. There we go. Let's show it out to and the party people. Is, uh, uh, this is a purple thing. Yeah, it's a little... Got me with... I no, no, no. Restored. No, yeah, restored. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Woo! Another 9.8. Nine Dude, your karma is just coming up right now. I'm like Dave Dolph. You're like Dave hey, hey, Mr. 9.8. <laughs> You're just on fire right now. All right. Wow, that's a great pickup. So that's four. That's a great, great pickup. All right. All right. We're that's cruising nice. along. Right, so they are pretty much right in order. Oh, yeah. Mortal Hulk 16. The one in 25, uh, the ugly cover. Yes, the ugly cover. I don't get that cover. Oh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. I don't get it. Yeah. So, but this wrong. is when Marvel... So this book got so hot and at Immortal Hulk 16. Then they did a second print, and they came out with a second print incentive which was like the first time ever really so now for the second print they yep. also had a one in 25 incentive gotcha so and now and they've done it like two times since it's a money grab by right. marvel okay and they're gonna kill the game right so you know all right it is so, what it is but this is the first print uh no 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 that's the wrong book yeah this is the ugly cover now, it should be in right in the front, right? Oh, that's right. Let me see. Oh, no, we're going to lose for no. Shit. Oh, they didn't go in order. Oh, they, they want you to pack it in order, but they don't care yeah. about the... All right, this is the ugly cover. Yes. This is an ugly cover. This one, and I also... The Nemesis... Oh, I, well, I, was, I was sworn to secrecy on this. But okay. I, anyways, I got this. I got this behind the scenes. All right. I, I found it in a pile that nobody knew where it was. You are looking at another 9-8. My God, it must nice. be Bernie 1869 day. 
The wraparound cover. Yeah, it's a wrap. Oh, this is what I like. See, this is why I like when you slab a book with a wrap. I forgot about the wraparound cover. Yeah. So you get the wraparound cover, and then you can see the back when it's slabbed. And if it's wow. laying in your box, you can't see the back. Right. That's it. Right, exactly. So, so swore to secrecy on this book. Maybe someday you'll tell us. But just the book. Uh, flipping that book or keeping it? Uh, flipping. Flipping. Okay. Yeah. And what's the numbers on that? Um, Not a lot. Well, I shouldn't say that, but... About 100 bucks. About 100 think, bucks. Okay. Yeah, so. Nice. And you bought it at retail? I bought it at about 9 bucks plus grading. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. You're on fire right now. Yes. You're on fire. I got it. Is that 5 for 5? Five? 5 for 5. All right. So, are you going to tell me now since they're out of order? No. Just what's All next? Right. Oh, my Michael Turner's. I should have two of these. Okay. Now, yeah. this one, there's one that I'm really... One maybe a 9-4. When I was packing them up, I noticed one had a little uh, stacking on. Uh, you know, when you put your books in the box and there's one off centered off the in front of it. So I thought there was a little stacking uh, dent. Oh, you have two of, of the same books. Right? Yes. That, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So one of them had uh, the thing where it's off centered and yep. you. Oh, I got you, got you. Like so, a miscut cut or something? No, no, just like a stacking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so one of them may be a 9-4. Uh, these I got off of Nelson Chua on Facebook. Okay. Uh, Big Time Collectibles on Instagram. I got these like two, three years ago. Uh, two, three years ago? You were sitting on them? I got them off of Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I mean Facebook on one of his auctions. I won one in an auction. And I beat out uh, Larry Clarkson. Oh, did you really? Yeah. <laughs> it's a cutthroat um, game. <laughs> cutthroat game. I beat him on an auction for it. And then he did a giveaway for another copy of it. And I actually ended up winning that giveaway. So really? I got two copies. Okay. Uh, it's limited to 214. It's a St. Patrick's Day special. Yeah. But Aspen always, you know, screws with the numbers. But all right. So these are Michael Turner, uh, all new Fathom number six. Uh, cover C, St. Patrick's Day, limited. You are on fire. Another nine eight. Nine, Get nine, the nine. fuck out of here. It's almost like, it's nice. almost, it's unbelievable. Is this the one with the... It's unbelievable. So that was. That's phenomenal. You know, I can't even karate chop anymore. Table. I'm like, I might break my arm <laughs> if I do any more karate chops. So that was uh. Without uh, being look pressed. At the back, look at the back too. Back is nice. I never looked at this. And again, you again, don't look at the back. You don't look at the back. Dude. back is beautiful. beautiful. That's nice, too. So, yeah. So, that, that not another one. The next one's probably going to be a 9-4. Because th there was one that had a... I don't even know which... It's, yeah. So, 9-4, you're disappointed. Well, no, no. I mean, I'm not... You're expecting. Or 9-4, 9-6. I mean, I don't know how much they take off for... Right. For that, this Maybe. one's got spine stress. See now, now this is making me more upset about I know, my Batman. I know, I know, yeah, I'm still pissed about my Batman 50. Yeah, you don't let things go. Look at this. Well, you know, it was, it was done on a Friday afternoon. It was done by the other guy that Roger's friend was next. Maybe to. I should fast track everything. Right? Yeah, really. I'm telling you. <laughs> you know. So I've got another one right here. One of them Same for thing. Him. Yeah. Same thing. This one. This one's for the personal collection. All right, and this one is another 9-8. How does Get that happen? Fuck it's a yeah. Huh? See, I, yeah. See, nice. what do you know? It's a secret sauce. It's the secret sauce. This is look, look, look. This is the one. See it? Yeah, I see it. Yep, I see it. But it's this not color breaking or anything like it's that. It's not color, but it's still a yeah. bit. You can see it. Jesus. This is all right. I don't know how this got a nine. But it's okay. The great as this modern, is what one where say. I, most pe I, I think most people would know when you got them in your box and some of them shift over to the right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the one behind right, it gets that. up a little bit. Right. That's what happens to my Amazing Spider-Man yes. 252s. So, I wouldn't... I I can see it clearly through this. Oh, and it's got a Newton ring. So, this one's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I would not give... See, if, uh, but that's why grading is subjective. Because I would not give this a 9.8. Well, good thing you're not grading them. Because there's no way that these two books are the same. Right. Hot damn. You know, what, whatever. I'll so we're six, the great is the great. The great is the great is the great, <laughs> yeah. as our boy Unit Matrix Mono would say. Yeah. All right, so we're how many books in? Shit. About seven, I think. Dude. Nice. Oh, this All one. Right. 
Oh, this one, uh, Dave Doe and uh, Justin both offered me on free. Now, this one is high grade. Okay. Uh, Which book is this? Marvel Rising. Uh, when I picked this up, that free comic book day, I, post, I, get, I had four variants that day. And Justin, like, first sale or something. And I'm like, that's actually the only 9-8 candidate out of okay. the four. Yep. So this one, it's going to be a 9-6 or a 9-8. Okay. No, I don't know anything about this book. It's just a Squirrel Girl. I missed out on the one before. Yeah. Anything with Squirrel Girl, I'm buying. Spec it hard on it? Uh, yeah, it's got Kamala Khan on it. It's, yeah. got, a, it's got all the female, female. All right. Female and you are looking at... Good lord. Nine, Good lord. Nice. I mean, that's on fire. I knew this was going to be happening. You knew that? You knew that? That's you're, right. You're I did right say now. it on an Instagram post. I go, that's you're on fire! The nice. nice. fire. He's killing it right now. He's killing so it. So, Marvel Rising number one. Uh, variant? 25 variant. Yep. There was nothing on uh, eBay or anything no, for no, 9 8s. No stats on it. Yeah. That I can find. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice. Look at that. You went from, I mean, you got that that guy who was happy to be at work. You got that guy that Roger's buddy was sitting next to you. You're like, dude, what are you so happy about? You know, that guy that created Roger. Poor Roger. Poor Roger. Poor Roger. Roger. Uh, We've got two more to go. Two more to go. We're full sweep 9-8. See what happens at the grotto. See what happens. Oh, this is your book that you should. This is my book. The one that I said, there's. How many? 301 9.8s. 301 9.8s have been sold. sold. Okay, got it. That's not counting how many have been. Yeah. The difference between a nine eight and forty bucks. Forty uh, bucks. Okay. I mean, well, no. This is well, trending I, upwards. Going by it? ninety day GPA, uh, one thirty nine okay. on a nine eight, seventy five on a nine six. Well, hot damn. Hot damn. You just can't be stopped. <laughs> oh, Another shit. nine eight. Yes. You just can't be and stopped. By the way, Mark Brooks has joined Rob Liefeld. He's charging more to sign for this book. Than is he really? Other books. Dude, you can't be stopped right now. But, all right, let's go back to, why are you going to charge more to sign for a certain book than another? Because that's all why I don't see. do signatures. Right, that's why you don't do sigs. I don't know. He's following in Liefeld's footsteps, huh? Son of a god. And any first appearance of, does this say it? But yeah, this Hulk is it. gains new powers and becomes immortal. Oh, uh, okay, there you go. So it's there not. There you go. Do a little smudge on that? Let me see. Yeah, a big Newton ring right on his face. Anyway, the Newton rings have been less and less, but... Oh, there is. Yeah, that's a nice... you got good one. eyes. I guess I love readers. the readers. It's the readers. <laughs> Must the be readers. those readers again. Oh, dude, we're killing it right now. Yes. And then the last book. I should not have submitted this one. There's not really a big... Uh... This is an Alex Ross book, though, right? It is an Alex Ross That's book. Well, a huge Alex Ross Yes, fan. and I did see. This is one he pulled up. Yeah, so you did see. Okay. It's so, uh, Immortal Hulk 15. Yep. The variant edition. It was like an anniversary or celebratory... Uh, but like I said, I had a pile of 22, and I pulled out, and I was Immortal Hulk heavy, so I just kept going with it. Well, just like you kept going with the Immortal Hulk theme, you have gone a full sweep of 9-8s! <laughs> 10, nine for, eights, 10. ten, for, ten, ten nine for eights, ten, karate chops, check it out! That's unbelievable. Nine, that's unbelievable. Immortal Hulk, Alex Here on Three Men in the Basement. And that's, that is a dope, I dope think. cover. That's like classic him, like, leaping I, through I the desert. I think it is uh, What's it say? Marvel 23. Anniversary variant, Incredible Hulk number seven thirty two. What yeah, the hell well, is I don't with know. this we gotta look into that. So let's just show that to I, the people. I out mean, I'm, that's yeah, just I, phenomenal. But am I gonna have to get these reslabbed on them? No. Why, uh, I, I there know. is no Incredible Hulk number seven thirty two, unless they're counting numbers. Well, we unless they know people. something we don't know, but right, exactly. they're gonna go back gotta to the original people, number. We've got to get our people on that. What a great looking cover, classic Ross. Yeah, ten for yeah, ten. Jumping out of nine eight. Now is this? I think that's gonna be the title of this book. Why is uh? The 25th the anniversary, but like he, he's, it looks like he's skydiving. Yeah, it's like his his leap, you know. But, yeah, yeah. But I did think this was going for more than it was. Right. But, okay. You know, but whatever. Yeah, that's for your PC though, it's right? Nice. No. You're gonna sell it? Yeah. Really? Well, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at what we got here. All right. All right. So we yeah, have so, gone. Yeah. 10 for 10. Did you expect to go 10 for 10? No. Not no. after last time. No. <laughs> <laughs> last time I went like 5 for 15. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. You ruined your day yeah. after a whole day. So 10 for 10, only here on 3 men in the basement. That's just a run like no other. Dude, if you were shooting craps, you'd be on fire. Unpressed. Look at that. Yeah, but I studied these books a lot. You did, right. Okay. Yeah, you know, like, I started checking them that, like, you know, for the waves, because 
I'm still pissed about those Batman figures. Yeah, you gotta let it go. And I no, no, I didn't let it go. I sent them to get pressed, and I'm resubmitting. <laughs> you know, I'm, right. but, you know, it's just it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It is ten, what it is. It is what it is. Ten yeah. for ten here at Three Minute Basement. Nice, nice, nice. So this has been. We're actually going on thirty minutes. So this is taking oh, thirty geez. minutes. That's a lot of comics. So we're gonna wrap up. So uh, please keep following Three Minute Basement. Congrat. Thank you very much. We just hit five hundred subs. We're at like five fifteen right now. Please comment, follow. We've got a lot of stuff coming, a lot of big upgrades to the production. Can't wait. Uh, Lords of the Long Box is killing it. The Black Knight Report has just been going crazy. Tim Black is Knight. Knight. The Black Knight Report. That's I thought the, the Black Knight was dead. He didn't show up in Endgame. No, no, no. The Black Knight Report, that's that's Tim's secret source. That's Tim's oh, source. That's I thought you were talking about the Black Knight. Right, no, no. This is the Black Knight of the I comic. I thought my that's Avengers right. 48s were about to scare no, no, the no. <laughs> They might, who knows? But um, he's been killing it with all the information. I've got lots of spec books that I've been buying. Um, you guys should follow that along too. Justin's various spotlight, Nemesis Prime has just been killing yes, it. And he's doing the halls and he's doing and the halls and stuff like that. And We're he gonna do good books. Yes, absolutely. We are going to have a few people on pretty soon. Uh, we're gonna have a great summer. Uh, I've got lots of weeks to produce videos and stuff like that, and get information out to you. So, on behalf of the Lords of the Long Box, my boys, uh, Dark Side Jedi and Tivo, on behalf of Roger Levesque, Nemesis Prime, Birdie eighteen sixty nine, Short Box Birdie. Everett I'm underscore Otto. Everett underscore Otto on Instagram. I am Otto. We are three men in the basement and we are out. Peace. Peace.